Hello everyone and welcome to the Empowering People International Broadcast. My name is Dr. Stanley Williams and this is my beautiful wife, Dr. Bettina Williams. We want you to know that the devil is defeated and Jesus is Lord. He's the God of all seasons. That means that miracles are happening no matter what the season is, even in our hour, God is still a supernatural God. God has called you to victory and triumph. In fact, he's coming back for a glorious church, not a defeated, broke down, frustrated, defeated church, but he's coming back for a church that is full of glory, power, and authority. The Bible says that in the last days, perilous times will come. We're living in that day and that hour, but God wants for you to arise and shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Get ready for a word that is going to reflect the glory and the power that God has released in your direction. It's a setup for your greatest hour of victory. Let's go to the word. Well, bless our God. Let's praise him. Let's exalt him today as we are going into a brand new year. We're going into the year of 2024. Praise God. And we're preparing and positioning our hearts for the thing that God has in store for us. I'm Dr. Beth Tina Williams, and I'm here with my husband, Apostle Dr. Stanley Williams, and we're gonna be sharing with you concerning the new year of 2024, and even as it pertains to the year 5784 on the Hebrew calendar, which began at Rosh Hashanah back in September 15th through the 17th, of 2023. So really, those who are just celebrating January 1st are actually playing catch up as far as God's timetable is concerned. And I said catch up, not cats up. <laughs> but as far as God's timetable is concerned, amen, according to the Hebraic calendar, the new year has already begun. And God is doing a new thing. He said, it will spring forth suddenly, shall you not know it. Let's open with a word of prayer and turn the word over to the hands of Apostle Stanley. Father God, we just bless and exalt your holy name. We thank you for giving us this opportunity to join together and to speak your word concerning this year, this time, the doors that you have open unto us, what you have in store for your people. And we ask you to let the spirit of wisdom and of revelation flow mightily. Holy Spirit, we welcome your presence and we ask you to speak. We ask you to minister. We ask you to lead and guide us into all truth. Let your anointing permeate every word, every thought, and every deed. And we pray that your people will grow and become strong in you and the power of your might be aligned with your purposes and your plan for their lives and be able to start this new year empowered and finish strong yes. in the name of Jesus. We give yes. you all the glory, all yes. the honor and the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen, Apostle. I want to welcome everybody to the broadcast amen. today and let you know, of course, as always, you yes. are loved, you're appreciated, and of course, God loves you more than all. Amen. Listen, we're going to deal today with a prophetic understanding of 2024. Yes. We are coming into a new day, a new moment. Mm -hmm. And God is saying that we should look forward into this year with expectation. That's right. With expectation of good things. Something good is going to happen for you because mm -hmm. we have God on our side. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And, I, and, and the God that I know, mm-hmm. the scripture says, nothing is impossible for him. The question was asked, is anything too hard for the Lord? So we're dealing today with 2024. Yes. We're dealing with the number 20, which I want to address first, and then my wife is going to address it from her perspective. But as far as the number 20 is concerned, and I'm going to deal with 24, 2, and 4. As far as the number 20 is concerned, the number 20 represents the end of a period mm-hmm. and the beginning of a new period. Yes. And that's extremely important because in the Bible, several examples are given of when something comes to an end and God says, this is a new yes. day. It's mm-hmm. a new hour. Mm-hmm. Now, in in biblical numerology, mm-hmm. you know, J- we, we're going to look at Jacob first. Jacob and Laban. Mm-hmm. Jacob worked for Laban for 20 years. Mm-hmm. 20 years. Seven years for Leah seven years for Rachel, and six years for cattle. And after that, Jacob was released. God gave him a dream and said, it is time mm-hmm. to go. And in, on their departure, Rachel took one of her father's statues, his yes, idols, yes. And, and Laban pursued Jacob. Mm-hmm. And God said to Laban, don't speak yes. hard to Jacob. Don't mess with Jacob. And Laban couldn't. Mm-hmm. He tried to argue a little bit, but he couldn't touch Jacob. This is coming. We're coming into a time when God is going to give you a new season, a new opportunity, a new day. Things that were challenging to you, people that were challenging yes. to you, they're not going to be able to speak hard to you. Mm-hmm. God is going to bring you into mm-hmm. a, a region, a time of mm-hmm. freedom. And of course, and they're gonna and and you're gonna come into a time of blessing. When mm-hmm. Jacob left Laban, he was blessed. Mm-hmm. He had everything that Laban had. Laban was trying to cheat him. He abused him, changed yes. his wages. But Jacob left blessed. And mm-hmm. God is getting ready to bring you into a new season, and you are about to be blessed. Amen. I agree, Apostle. Such a powerful message. And we're talking about. 2024 and even as it pertains to 5784 in the Hebrew calendar which is from the represented by the Hebrew letter Dalet which pertains to a door to lift up. It's talking about a door being open unto you. And 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and verse 9 Paul said this. He said for a great and effective door has opened to me and there are many adversaries. In other words, there are challenges, there are circumstances and situations that will take place in 2024, but we have to know from where our help comes from. We have to know the source of our resource. It's gonna be a changing of seasons. You're gonna walk yes. into new doors, new opportunities, but it will not be without challenges. God will, as you trust him, depend and lean on him, he's gonna give you a testimony and he will give you the victory. A door, a new place, it opens up a gate and it represents mm. even authority. God is going to bless you and position you in a place of authority and power. God will never leave you comfortless. He will never leave you uh, powerless. He will never leave his people at the mercy of the elements. Praise God. But it's a door of power. It's a door of authority that's opening to you. And doors represent places of transition. So I would say that 2024 and as it pertains to 5784 in the Hebrew calendar, it is pertaining to a place and a time of transition where you're stepping from one place, Mm. one season, Mm. one realm Mm. or dimension to a brand new dimension, a new place and a new season in time. It's set time for the favor of God for you to walk in it in the fullness thereof greater than you've ever known before. God is going to increase your capacity. He's going to stretch you and it's going to get uncomfortable at times, but he's going to stretch you for your 
uh, for your good so that you'll be better, you'll be stronger, you'll be wiser and more able or capable of fulfilling your divine assignment, the assignment of God for your life. So God is taking you to a new place. It's a new step. It's a new position. It's a new door open. It's new opportunities open. And he's going to stretch you and he's going to perfect that which concerns you. Also, Praise God. God is going to increase your influence, doors of influence. According to Genesis 15 and 5, it says, look now toward heaven. Speaking of Abraham, he said, look now toward heaven and count the stars if you are able to number them. He said to him, so shall your descendants be. And it wasn't until Abraham stepped out of the door into a new place that he got a new perspective. God is going to take you from the place of poverty, the place of insufficiency, the place of lack, a lower place to a higher place. Yes. The Bible says, blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of of heaven. So God is going to give you kingdom resources. He's going to reposition you and he's going to cause things to be realigned so that you can increase, you can multiply, you can go further than you've ever been before. Some of you have been stuck. Some of you have been uh, relegated and held back and, and suppressed or kept back. And you felt like you've been on the backside of the desert. Well, guess what? The lights are coming on. And, and the stage is set and the curtains are opening and God is saying the green light has been given. He's green lit you and it's time for you to be exposed to greater because he said, behold, I will do a new thing. It shall spring forth yes. suddenly. Shall you not know it? He said, I will make way away in the desert and spring up rivers. Hallelujah. In the wilderness. In other words, God is taking you on a new journey. Get ready. It's different than you've ever known before. It's a path of greatness, and it's going to be filled with his glory. Apostle? You know, when God is ready, mm -hmm. when God says it's enough, yes, that's when the blessings really begin to flow. Mm -hmm. You know, when in the, in the Bible, Amen. Israel was being persecuted by a king named Jabin. Mm -hmm. And they were persecuted for 20 years. Yes, and yes. eventually they began to cry unto the mm -hmm. Lord. And God said, it is enough. I'm, yes. speaking this by, yes. I'm speaking this by prophetic utterance. It's enough. Amen. It's Amen. time for something Jesus. new to happen in your life. Mm -hmm. It's time for you to step into a new place in That's God. Right. And God is beginning to accelerate what he's going to do in your life. Mm -hmm. The stage that you've been in is about to come to an end and you're stepping into a new day. Yes. Now, again, the Ark of the Covenant was taken by the Philistines and it was in the land of the Philistines for 20 mm -hmm. years. But when God said, it's enough, that's mm -hmm. enough. Mm -hmm. the, the Ark of the Covenant came back and it mm -hmm. went into the house of Obed-Edom mm -hmm. and the blessing came upon the house of mm -hmm. Obed-Edom to such a degree until David yes. heard about it in Jerusalem and came down and took the Ark and worshipped yes. Yes. all the way back to Jerusalem, dancing yes. till he danced out of his clothes. You are coming into a place of revelation, a yes. place of blessing where God is going to call you to rejoice like never mm -hmm. before. And I want to say this quickly and pass it back to my, my wife. That's the number 20. Mm -hmm. But the number 24. Four is associated with priesthood. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. speaking prophetically. We are a royal priesthood. We are a chosen generation. Mm -hmm. We are a holy nation. God is saying yes. it is a time for worship. The priesthood, worship, mm -hmm. magnification of his name, lifting him up, honoring him. In the Old Testament, when it comes to the number of 24, David set up 24 yes. courses Amen. of worship. Yes for the priesthood mm -hmm. and they worshiped yes. before the Lord and they worshiped even in the New Testament. John the Baptist's father, Zachariah, yes. was a priest and he was going into his course mm -hmm. of worship in the yes. temple. That's when yes. God revealed to him that John was going to be born mm -hmm. and he was going to change the course of things through the forerunner. Yes. This is the blessing that's coming upon your life. 
The number 24 is three eights. The number eight is the number of new beginnings. It's a new day. Mm -hmm. We're coming into a yes. new season. We're going to come out of the old things that have slowed us down into a new day of blessing and acceleration. That's right. God is doing a new thing, and you need to yes. know it. Amen. I'd like to encourage every one of you to begin to seriously meditate in the Word of God. Remember what the psalmist David said, if you meditate in the Word day and night, you'll make your way prosperous and you'll have good success. I believe that everything that you set your hands to do will prosper. And I believe that God is interested in your prayer life. Develop that prayer life, begin to stand up in God's face and begin to declare the word of God. God loves it when he's in communication with his people. In Jesus name. This is an exciting time in history. We are seeing the word of God unfold and come into full manifestation every day, just watching the news. So I wanna encourage you, get your news from the original source. Stay in the Word of God daily. And as you stay in the Word of God, enjoying with daily communion and prayer, talking to the Father, He will show you things to come and He will manifest His power to you. In fact, God has ordained for you to be in the driver's seat. He's ordained for you to be the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath, blessed and not cursed. God wants for you to be a difference maker and a change agent. In other words, God has put you in a position of power and authority because we're seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And he's ordained for you to walk a life of victory in the word. Let's go back to the word of God. And you know, we have to believe it, Apostle. Yes. That's what the people got. You have to believe it. You have to believe it. Know who you are in God. Know that you are a royal priest to the holy nation. You are a peculiar people. God has designated you to represent his kingdom, mm. to be an ambassador of the kingdom of God, to be aligned sp spiritually and strategically so that you can be effective yes, in yes, your yes. assignment again so that you can identify your identification with God is important. Your understanding, your comprehension of your assignment of who you are is mm. all important because that is what God is going to do. He's going to perfect that which concerns you and he's going to multiply you. He's going to increase you. He's going to promote you. So you've got to believe it. You've got to know who you are. Don't doubt your assignment. Don't doubt the importance, the weightiness of your assignment. It's important, especially in this season. God wants you to be as a royal priesthood. He wants you to worship him. He wants for you to go come into his presence in prayer, in worship, in consecration, in a new and living way. Why? Because he is going to give you direction. He's going to give you clarity. He's going to give you wisdom. He's mm. going to show you things to come. Yes. He's going to prepare you for this new day, new hour, new time, and new season where we are technologically advancing in the world systems. And God is going to strategically position and posture you where you are on the forefront. You are not the tail, but you are the head. You are not beneath, but you are above only. So that you are kingdom ambassador, trailblazer, and you are a difference maker in this this day and then this season, God is doing a new thing. And we've got to understand that God is opening new doors and he's giving you keys. <laughs> he said, I, he gave Peter, he said, I give you the keys to the kingdom. He's giving you keys to the kingdom. And I want to read Isaiah chapter uh, 22 and verse 20 through yes. 22, where it says, then it shall be in that day that I will call my servant Eliakim, the son of Hilkiah. I will clothe him with your robe and strengthen him with your belt. Yes. I will commit your responsibility in his hand. 
See, it's a time of new responsibilities. God is going to confer and entrust upon you great responsibility. It's going to be important. So that's why your prayer life, your worship, your consecration to God, holiness, aligning yourself with righteousness is very important. Knowing your identity in God, your assignment that you're not of the world, that you're not to be worldly and carnal, but that old man is to be crucified with Christ and you've got to turn on the light of Jesus Christ in you and let him live fully in you. Glory to God for this assignment. And he says, I will commit your responsibility mm -hmm. into his hand. He shall be a father to yes. the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. The key of the house of David will I lay on his shoulder so he shall open and none shall shut. No one shall shut and he shall shut and no one shall open. In other words, there's going to be doors that God will open that no one will be able to shut. And there's going to be doors that are shut that no one will be open. When it's time, it's time. Let me tell you this. A man of God recently said, a relative of my husband, a, world, a nationally renowned psalmist and pastor, man of God, he said this. He said, you don't need to be worrying in this time, in this season. Worry him, how am I going to do this? How am I going to fulfill my assignment? How is this going to happen? How is that going to happen? Stop worrying. God is not a God of worrying. He's a God of of wisdom, a God of precision, a God of strategy, a God of information, mm. a God of direction, a God of clarity. Glory to God. Yeah. So you don't need to worry in this season. And the man of God said this. He said, doors have closed to the past that will never be opened again. Certain things you've done in the past, certain people you've run with, some certain places you've gone in the past, certain things and the way you mm. did it will never be again. It will never happen that way again. That door is closed. That yes. season is over. He said, you don't need to worry about things. He said, in this season, you'll have more decisions to make than things to worry about. More decisions. Why? Because it, we must be about our father's business and every decision need to be in alignment with what God has entrusted in our hands. The responsibility that he entrusts in your hands, that which God confers on you. He's going to he's going to promote you. And this is a season of divine promotion and he's going to open doors for you to take you to places and put you in a position you've never been in before, but you've got to believe him. You've got to know it beyond a shadow of a doubt, and you've got to receive it and fulfill your divine assignment in prayer and as a priest in worship. Apostle? I just want to touch quickly. God is going to bring us into relationships. Amen. The Amen. number two, if two or more of you shall agree as touching any matter on earth, it shall be done by the Father who is in, in heaven. heaven. Amen. Where two or more of you gather in my name, there I am in the middle or the midst of Amen. you. So two deals with relationship. One can put a thousand up like two can put 10,000. Mm -hmm. The scripture says, woe unto him who mm -hmm. falls if he is alone. Mm -hmm. If he is not alone, his brother can pick him up. Mm -hmm. And also two, two brings warmth. Mm -hmm. So two is important. Two people in fellowship, two churches in yes, relationship, yes, yes. two mm -hmm. things coming together yes. in a union. Two is important. Mm -hmm. Now, num the number four deals with creation. Mm -hmm. The number four has a lot of power. When God mm -hmm. is doing something new in an appointed time, so the number four means appointed time. God is ready to yes. do it and he's ready to do it now. Yes. This is your set time mm -hmm. of favor. It is time now for you to come into your divine yes. purpose. It's time now for you to walk through open doors. Yes. It's time now for a new beginning. Mm -hmm. It's time now for you to be healed. It's time now for your sons to be and your daughters yes. to be delivered. Yes. It's time now for great things to begin to happen in your life. It's time now for all of those old things that have hindered you to fall away and you to come into a place where Things work for you. It's about to work in your favor. Yes, yes, yes. It's about to work in your favor. Yes. It's about to work 
in your favor. I want to pray. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. I declare and I decree yes, and I speak by faith the favor yes. of God. Yes, I pray, Lord God, that the anointing, the oil of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. will begin to pour over the people and that they would experience experience you in a new way. Yes. It is time for a new day, God, and we receive it by faith. It's time yes. for a new level of blessings. It's time for open doors. It's time for shattered glass ceilings, things that have held me down, held yes. them down, yes. held us down. It is time yes. for acceleration. It's yes. time for the power of God to be manifest yes. in the earth. It's yes. time for supernatural revival. Yes. Yes. This is a new beginning. Yes, and Father, we thank you according to Isaiah 43 and verse 19. You said, see, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. It shall spring up suddenly. Shall you not know it? Shall you not perceive it? You said, I'm making a way in the wilderness and streams in the desert. And we thank you right now for the new beginnings, mm. fresh new beginnings. We thank you for divine renewal. Eight, we eight, thank eight, you, Lord eight. God, for divine yes, reversal. Mm. Reversal of those things the enemy meant to hinder, to stop, to hold up, Lord God. God, to inhibit, to, to impair. We thank you, Lord God, for divine deliverance, divine intervention. We thank you for divine provision. We thank you for going before us, going before your people, opening up a new door, new doors of blessings, favor, and opportunity. And we thank you, Lord God, oh my God, for this season of victory and triumph in Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, I we give you all the glory, the glory, honor, and praise. Glory, and we want to wish you a very happy new year. Ooh, Expect it, believe it, and know God is with you. Apart. And remember, yes. only God, only God is, able is able to keep us to keep us from, from falling. falling. We go love with you. God. Happy Be new blessed. year, and God bless you. Amen. We want to thank you for being a part of our empowering people international family. We so appreciate you. You are loved. And every soul that's impacted by this broadcast, you are a part of it. Remember that Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to us. And as long as we have him, we have absolute victory. You have received the word of God today. And I want to encourage you to stand on it. Stand on the word of God and hold on to God because he's holding on to you. Believe God because he believes in you. He created you for victory. He created you for triumph. You shall not go down in defeat for one split second as long as you are standing on the rock of your salvation. And that's none other than Jesus Christ, our Lord. He is the Lord of the harvest. He is the Lord of victory. He's the Lord of triumph. And he is the Lord of the host of the armies of heaven. You're on the winning side. You're on God's side. Stand in the victory. God bless you.